Hey guys, so some of you have asked, what do you drive exactly? And I have to start in the front of my house to do like a garage tour. Here, this is kind of the best all arounder car I have, um, kind of for mid length trips. Long trips, I take the Mercedes because of the smart cruise control. Uh, but this is good for, you know, everything in between around town or the convertible around town for the electric or the convertible for just fun. This is a nice all-arounder uh, car. This guy here is the press car uh, for this week, uh, Kia Soul. Um, there's a link to the review of that guy. Uh, our neighbor has a very similar Audi. I've almost gotten into that one before at night. Um, and then that's kind of ironic because then I saw this Mazda down here. It's actually a Mazda 6, but my press car next week is a Mazda 3. So I thought maybe they had delivered that early from far away. The garage. I'm sure my channel's bigger people will eventually want a house tour, but right now we're a small car channel. So that's probably what most people care about. These are my dogs, which is the main reason I have some of the cars just that I don't care about just to bring them around and then I get to ride in the Mercedes because it's a lease and uh, it's white inside as well. So let's head to the garage. Ah, it was already open. Uh, did not plan that. So this is the convertible for a nice sunny day, short drive, or even uh, some of our more spirited drives. Sorry, so uh, full in here. We just moved not too long ago. Uh, this is the newest member of the family, the Fiat 500e. Uh, or electric. Uh, really, really neat car. It obviously gets to be in the garage over some of the, you know, more expensive cars uh, because it needs to charge. So video on this guy uh, soon, but yeah, it's got a little charging port in here. And then, uh, yeah, you just plug this in the wall. We don't have the fast charger just because uh, we never really drain it to zero percent and we just, you know, charge it at 50. So that's fairly fast. And then of course, uh, probably the prettiest car I own, although that's subjective, uh, is the uh, Mercedes here. Uh, this is great for uh, long trips and things like that. Uh, it has the smart cruise control. Uh, you know, the handling, it does have the lowered suspension, but not the full-on AMG Sport package. The handling is not as great as you'd expect from a coupe, uh, but it, it, you know, it can hold its own. It drove it on the Autobahn in Germany when I did European delivery. I'll link to that video. Uh, as well. So really nice car uh, there. Love the back of this car. This is probably outside of the Audi S5 I owned. Probably one of the prettiest cars I have owned. Again, that's subjective, but the lines on this car are just insane. I left that on. You were required to have that guy in Germany. So I thought it looked kind of cool, so I left it. All right, guys. So that is the garage tour. Um, pretty short, but unfortunately my fleet is not that large yet. Um, before you guys ask what I do, I could give you a vague answer like, well, I had a lemonade stand and then invested in the stock market. If you guys are interested, I'll do a video uh, on that. I was a lawyer for a little while. I work in uh, doing tech consulting now and uh, YouTube is unfortunately not a career yet, but that is the goal. So like and subscribe and maybe eventually I'll be able to make our videos a uh, full time.